Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be showing you some cool tips and tricks for Honor 10 Lite. Honor 10 Lite is running EMUI 9 based on Android 9.0. I have made another video for tips and tricks for this device. You can click over here to see that video. So this is the second episode for the same video. So let's start the video, but before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notified every time I post a new video. So my first tip would be about the app lock feature of this device. You can go into the settings, you can type in app lock. As you can see, you can use your fingerprint or face ID for this feature. Now all these applications, you can lock them. So suppose you give your device to your family member or your friends, they cannot open a particular app like WhatsApp, Facebook or Instagram without the face ID or fingerprint scanner. So let's use it for Facebook as an example. So this is a good feature. You can lock the application which you are using for your personal use. So let's try to open the application. You can see it's asking for and after verifying my face, the application is opened. I haven't even logged into my account. That's a different case. So whenever you try to open any application where you have given the app lock permission, it will ask for your face ID or fingerprint scanner. And you can use the app lock function for all these applications including your Gmail, including your WhatsApp, your Instagram, Google Duo, any application which you think is very private to you and you don't want anyone else to look into it, you can assign app lock permissions so nobody else can use it. Now another cool feature in this device is the file save. Now there are a lot of pictures and video which you click which are private and you don't want anyone else to see them. You can assign app lock permission but if you want more security or you want some pictures in a different folder. Now file safe is a folder which will carry your personal documents, personal pictures, videos in a very secretive manner. So all you can do you can assign your fingerprint, you can assign your face unlock or your Huawei ID. Only you can verify it with your fingerprint. Now when you go to images you can add any picture which you think or videos which you think is should not be in your normal gallery and you can just add in add into this folder and you can delete from your main gallery now these pictures will stay in this private folder you can say same way you can assign audios you can have videos or you have any like house document or contract files you can assign those files over here so this is again a very good feature for security purpose even if your gallery is open to anyone you can have your private pictures assigned in the file safe folder so this is another good security feature by honor my second tip is about digital balance feature for this device now this is a, a new feature added by Honor and Huawei in their smartphones, especially all those devices which are running Android 9 or EMUI 9. Now when you go to the settings, you go to digital balance. Now this will give you an uh, accurate idea what you're doing with your device, like the screen time, the application limits, your bedtime usage, your screen time, like uh, you can even assign a pin over here. So when you go to the screen time, now you have your screen time. I've hardly used this device, so you can see the screen time, one hour, what applications I'm using more, unlock frequency, number of extensions. So you keep on your device and it will keep on recording these settings for your future use. And also you can assign things for your work day and your rest days. But this is after an enhanced use of this device. If you're using some of the applications a lot of time, you can have the application limits. And also for bedtime, like sleep assistant, turn the grayscale. So it will automatically turn the screen gray during the sleeping hours, block some applications at the bedtime. You can assign your bedtime, like usually what time you sleep, what time you wake up. If you like your mobile to do everything for you. Now this is a good feature by Honor and Huawei, but for me, I think this is getting too personal in your privacy. So I don't use this, but definitely it's for people who like the device to do everything for them, they can assign this feature. Now another cool feature about this device is the high touch feature. I'm not sure whether this feature was there in EMUI 8, but in EMUI 9, you have this cool feature. It's basically for online shopping. So if you like to do a lot of online shopping, this is a great feature for you. You just go to the settings, you type high, you see this is the option. Click over here and you have to just enable it. It will give you a small detail about what it can do. You agree to the permissions and let me show you the introduction. So you can see when you see any picture you just tap with two finger and hold it so it will give you where you can buy it in different places in the world and what are the prices something very unique so for example now I go to my gallery 
So I have this toy car for kids. So after enabling the high touch feature, when I hold from both of my hands, it will read for a while and it will start loading not the same car but maybe the similar items where I can buy and prizes most of the options are coming by Walmart so I'm sure it has good association with Walmart and also Best Buy so definitely you know it will give you lots of options where you can buy that toy it can be for for example I, I choose my mobile and I try to check it let's see what it will load so it's not able to read the Note 8 properly because it's a dark picture. So it's giving you some, some case options. Again, for me, I don't use this option. If I want to buy something online, I just type in Google the exact name of the item. But again, for some people, it can be handy when you're just browsing, when you're just getting a picture from WhatsApp. You can just use this feature. There is another cool tip about the phone clone feature. When you go to the setting, type on phone clone, you get this beautiful screen. Now, what you can do is like copy paste of your Android or iOS device, something very very similar to how Apple does it and Samsung does it with their phones. If you have an Honor or Huawei device or if you have any other Android device or an iPhone, you can either transfer all your data from this phone to that phone or you can transfer the data from that phone to this phone if this is a new device. For me, this is a new device. So if I'd like to transfer any data, I can choose. I have a Galaxy Note 8. I can transfer from Galaxy Note 8. You have to just install the phone clone application on the old phone. You can install from the App Gallery or the Google Play. And also if you have an iPhone you have this application or you can just scan this QR code. I'm not doing the whole procedure but just a good tip to know that that can just copy paste most of your settings, data, pictures, videos, music and contacts. So this is something I think very useful and must to have on any phone especially when you're running Android 9.0. Another cool tip I would like to give about the usual split screen multitasking menu. Any phone with the screen size is bigger than 5.5 inch I think should have this feature because it's always good to do multitasking on your device and it's not something new for example you go to your messages and you swipe up you will get an option of split screen multitasking. One more thing I'd like to tell you is that it doesn't work with all the application, but most of the application supports the split screen multitasking. So when you click over here, it will convert into the split screen. Now you have all your applications here. For example, you would like to run your messages and YouTube at the same time, you can do so. And also if you want to flip, you click over here to flip it. You can have your messages down and YouTube up. You just click over here. So now you have messages here and YouTube. And also you can use it in the landscape mode. So when you turn around, you have your landscape vision. YouTube is running here and you have your messages if you'd like to write any messages. So this is not something new, but a lot of people, they still use it in most of the devices. And sometimes I use, I have a Note 8, so it's really handy and it's really good for iPads. Any device bigger than 5.5 inch should have this feature. So this is a handy tip. My another tip would be about the hardware settings or the hardware diagnostic of this device. Usually in Samsung devices, you have uh, an option. And also in Xiaomi devices, I have seen they give an option you type in some codes and you can go to the hardware diagnostic menu but in this device I could not find any such uh, option so there is a lot of applications which you can install and which will give you a correct idea of how the hardware of this phone is running suppose you face any issue and before going to the Huawei store or honor store you can self-diagnose the whole thing any device you buy nowadays the screen costs a lot of money the LCD or the OLED panel costs a lot of money so to check your LCD is perfectly fine you have an application called touch screen test when you click over over here will give you exact idea if you have any dead pixel in your device but trust me it's not the same as you have your Samsung devices which give you an accurate results of your hardware but I can at least come to know that my device does not have any LCD dead pixels which is always good to know sometime you have a device from the side if it fell down this side the LCD panel will not function properly so when you try to touch or you know try to open any application it will not open because the pixels becomes dead this application can be used with any Android devices you can just check how the LCD is functioning and also you have a phone doctor plus application application which is also very handy it gives you a detailed diagnostic of what is happening with your device any issues is happening or you can also diagnose all these tests flashlight camera headphone jack home button everything is perfectly fine with the device so this is the touch screen now this has a different touch screen version but this is more faster and more accurate i think than the first test so it clearly shows that my touch screen is per perfectly fine it gives a green signal over here also you can check your cameras your earphones the sound quality receiver microphone if you have a device where you cannot go to the hardware settings 
and it's not given by the phone doctor is a very good application to check the hardware of your device sitting at home before going to an expert or a Huawei or Honor specialist. So most of the things you can self-diagnose over here. So this is another good tip. Another small tip about this device, you can back up this device to your Google Drive or your Google account and also your Huawei account. And also you can back up the entire data to a flash drive. So again, this is a very good option given by Honor itself in the settings. You can um, just click on the external storage option and you can use your memory card, USB storage or shared folder. This is something very good and I think all the Android devices should have this option inbuilt. Another tip would be about how to reset this phone. So basically when you want to give the phone to somebody in your family or you want to sell your device, you go to the reset all setting in your phone. So you go to the reset phone setting in, in your smartphone itself. So this is called soft reset of the phone. But for me, I usually use a lot of phones and do reviews. Reviews. So whenever I'm giving back to the company or whenever I'm selling the device, I'm usually doing a hard reset. But before you power off, you have to first log out of your Huawei ID and you have to and you have to disable all your accounts, all your WhatsApp, all your accounts you should disable before you do the hard reset. So after you disable everything, you come out, log out of your Huawei ID, then you power off your device. And once your device is power off, you have to press the volume up and the power button. So let's do that. Once you see the Honor logo, just leave it. Now after a while, it will take you to this setting, which is you can see the hardware setting or the hard reset setting. So here you can wipe data factory reset and also you can clear your cache partition. So you can use your power button to select the command. So again, it will give you a warning that if you press yes, it will wipe the whole device and you cannot do it again. So with your volume key, you highlight the options. For me, I'm not deleting this device because I'll be using it for another reviews of camera comparison and so on. So I click on no. But in case if you are selling a device or you are giving it to any of your friends or family, you can do so. Again, you can reboot to the system now. So this is again a good tip if you are planning to release this device or give it to someone. That's all for this video guys. Hope to see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye and peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon. So you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.